Hi everybody. Uh, we are on our way to go to the airport to pick up a client uh, and welcome him here to Indianapolis for the first time. So we are going to bring you along with us for that journey. Exodus meets all of our clients for the first time at the airport. One thing I always think about as I'm heading to pick up a client is how lucky I am to be the first person to welcome them to their new home in Indianapolis. Every client has been on a unique journey and some have been waiting years in refugee camps for the opportunity to resettle in the United States. Whatever their story, Exodus meets them at the airport as they begin looking to the life ahead. Pulling up to the airport, we park in the short term lot so that we can head inside and be waiting to meet our client right outside the concourse. All right, we made it to the airport. Um, and so the first thing we need to do before we go inside to get our clients is uh, make sure that we have everything ready to go in the car for them once they get here. So right now I'm just making sure that we have car seat installed. Uh, Exodus has been giving all of our clients car seats so that they have everything they need to transport their kids safely. Uh, so I'm just doing the first step of car seat installation now, and then once we have the clients in the car, we'll do the rest. Um, make sure we've got everything snug for the client. But just kind of doing the first steps here. All right, got that hooked in now. The other thing I like to mention is we have winter coats with us for every member of the family. Um, Exodus always makes sure that we give a winter coat to every member of the family, no matter what time of year they arrive, because you never know when Indiana's gonna get cold for the first time. So we've got our winter coats in the car ready to go as well. Now we're all set to head inside and welcome our clients to Indy. Our first stop is to check out the arrivals board and confirm that the flight is on time and which concourse we should be waiting outside. After confirming that everything's running on schedule, we head upstairs. As we're waiting, we keep an eye out for our clients. If they have a medical issue, they may be escorted by a representative from the United Nations, but otherwise we just have to keep an eye out for the bags that they'll be carrying. Today, we're also waiting to meet our interpreter here. Our clients speak a wide variety of languages, and we always make sure to have an interpreter with us to pick up our clients. Today, we're waiting outside Concourse B, and any moment our clients should be here. Out of respect for our clients, we're not showing them on camera because that would be really overwhelming to be asked to be on camera just as you've arrived and come off a plane with no warning. Heading down to baggage claim, it's a good reminder that every person gets one bag to bring with them with their belongings from home. One suitcase can't fit everything you have at home. We did another video all about how hard it can be to choose what you would think to bring with you, so please feel free to check that out and think about what you would bring with you if you had to flee your home. After collecting some paperwork and information from our clients, and after they've gotten all their bags, we make a quick stop to get some water after their flight. And right now, the airport has free water machines right inside the parking garage. As soon as we get everyone into the car and kids strapped into their car seats, we take our clients straight to their new homes. Sometimes we have to take clients to a hotel or an Airbnb, depending on rental availability, but we always try to have our clients' new home ready for them when they arrive. Part of welcoming clients to their new home is making sure they have about two weeks of groceries already in their kitchen, so they don't have to worry about going shopping for a while. Another part is going over some essentials, like how the oven and stove work, making sure they know how to use the shower, the thermostat, the garbage disposal, and any other items in their home that they may not have been used to. Another thing we do is make sure that every client has a welcome meal delivered to them, so they can just enjoy their first night with some familiar food and everything set up for them in their new home. And here's a final few shots of the kitchen. Thanks so much for joining us on our airport pick today. We hope this showed you a little more of what a refugee's first day looks like in their new home. Bye.